All right, back again. <clears throat> this video is for the Racetech front fork spring. Now there's a much better detailed video by Chris, Chris Schmidt uh, on YouTube. I'll put his name down below. He details as far as taking your wheel off and everything out and goes into real good detail of doing this. Mine's going to be kind of more of an overview. Uh, one thing I will say, <clears throat> he changed the oil in both forks. All I'm doing is I poured 100 cc's out of the left fork that gets the spring. And then I'm just going to go ahead and re put everything from Racetech in and do it that way. Of course, there's the bike. You have to take the front wheel off. You know, loosen your... 10 millimeters take your axle out drop the wheel off then of course you got to take your uh your brake caliper off right there two 12 millimeter bolts take those out that will hang then your you have to take your fork guard off which will be some allen screws with a shoulder on them right there three of those then that will just hang there and then of course loosen your lower triple clamp bolts up and drop your tube out before you take your fork out the first thing you want to do is these bolts will all be tight upper and lower keep these all tight this cap break this cap loose on top i believe it's a 30 millimeter your this cap right here see break loosen these two bolts keep these two tight break Break your cap loose. Break your cap loose. Then, of course, loosen your bolts. Drop your fork tube out. And then... You will come over here. And I'll see if I can kind of show you... Here. Let me get this set up a little bit. I have my dampening rod down in here. It went down in. And of course, this is the top of your fork tube right here. What ha when you take it out of the bike, of course, this will still be on here like that. So you need to put a 14 millimeter on this nut and a 17 on your fork cap. Break those two loose. And I know Chris, he had a little bit of an issue getting this cap loose. He had to clamp, uh, he had to put some pliers on here with some leather. But mine actually, once I broke them loose, I could take it off with my fingers just like this. And of course, he shows you how to drain all the oil, take it out. Uh, like I said, all I did was I took a cup and I poured 100 cc's out because the fork tube has 600 in it from the factory. And Race Tech recommends, they give you an, an oil recommendation to use and they tell you 500 cc. So this fork tube should, in essence, be at five or 500 cc's, excuse me. This fork tube should now be at 500 cc. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of put stuff together here. <laughs> and hopefully you can see, <clears throat> I'm still running on the GoPro. Now, I'm kind of following along. Uh, let me show you here what they give you when you get it. You get your four steel washers. You get your little, little Delrin spacer slash collar here. Of course, your spring and then your large plastic spacer. And what you do is, you get on the website, you can scan this right there, and that will get you to the instruction area of the Race Tech website to print out your instructions. And now I'm going to go ahead and assemble this the best I can here. And hopefully you can see.
pull the damping rod up and metal washer one of those down in then spring goes down in and now uh, like the fellow I believe Chris did he put one of these preload washers down in here on top of the spring just so that this plastic edge of this collar was not resting on the top of that metal spring and grinding and wearing down the plastic and I kind of agree with that so I'm gonna go ahead and pop one of those down in then you got to take your nut off up here keep everything clean and now I'm gonna go ahead they don't tell you which way to put this in in the instructions see how there's more of a black collar on there than less here I'm putting this the area with the more of the black Delrin collar down. I mean, I should probably check that. I think I still have my instructions here somewhere. actually showing these as two separate pieces. So I'm actually going to put, I noticed on my instructions they're showing, I was showing those as one piece, but they're showing this piece separate going down on top of the spring and then this they're showing on the top of the spring. So. going to go ahead and put this down then because I think this plastic yes that plastic will fit right in there so I'm doing this this is going to be a little bit different than Chris did but I'm going by the way they're showing this here on the instructions and hopefully it works out Dropping that in. Now I'm going to put the tube. Try to get the tube down over here while not losing, losing the dampening rod, which I did for a second. Here it is. Now they show this top collar, they call it. So I'm going to put that on. What you want to do is probably shove something. I just dropped that all over the floor. You see a hole in here? You could put something in there and hold this dampening rod up. But if you just press down on the spring, I got it down on there. And now top nut. Like I said, I am not an expert. I'm like all the rest of you guys that are watching this that are just like Sunday drivers. Now I'm letting that up. Okay. Now, of course, I'm gonna screw this back on. And tighten. And now they give you these preload springs, I mean these preload washers, 
that you can put on if you want to add some preload. So I may put one of them on. They recommend three to five millimeter. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put, I already have that other one dropped down in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these up top. That will go up there like so. And now you have to get these jammed up. Against each other. What sucks is my 17 millimeter wrench is fat. So it causes an issue. I'm trying to get it in there. Okay. There we go. I'll pull this up. Get that started down in there. Okay, see how that does. Spam. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on the bike and of course, I'm not going to take this bike out for a ride. I have the rear spring coming sometime today or tomorrow. I'm going to wait till I get uh, both items on, then take it for a ride and see how it feels. And the, the procedure for this, putting it back on, of course, you'll slide it up in your uh, triple clamp. Look at the other side, see where, you know, your top of your fork tube here should be according to the top of your triple clamp get get the bottom tightened up the bottom triple clamp then come up here tighten your cap then go ahead and tighten the triple clamp up and you'll be good to go so I'm gonna go ahead and get this wrapped up and I will probably have another video up for the rear spring then we'll get it out and we'll give it a test and see how much better it is than stock like subscribe Get on the bike, get outside.